Hey Aspire, hope everybody's safe and healthy at home. Can you believe it's been five whole weeks since the gym is closed? I know, I'm going crazy myself. Well, hopefully you've been motivated, working on things that you can while you're away. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about press handstands. Actually, if you go through our YouTube channel, Coach Caleb has already prepared one video about press handstands. He's got a lot of really good drills and other techniques in that video. I'm gonna take a few of those and introduce some new ones to you as well and point out what's important about them for you. So when we talk about learning and improving our press, there's actually two specific areas that we need to focus on. The first one is strength, mainly in our shoulders. And the second one is actually flexibility or how well you're able to compress through the proper positions. Why don't we take a look at some drills for each one of these. Our first drill is just gonna be some very basic tuck-ups. All we're really focusing when we do these is understanding how to use our shoulders and push through the floor with our hands and our fingertips. Really thinking about putting as much weight on our hands as we can. When we do these, it's not so much of a pressing action. You can jump a little bit. I do want you to stay in a tuck position, keep everything through here nice and tight. And really, like I said, just focus on this part, this contact from your body to the floor. Okay, so make sure Hands are about shoulder width apart, just as they would be in a handstand. Fingers forward, I like to spread my fingertips out a little bit. This gives me a little bit better grip, so I can actually use those fingers and kind of fine tune my balance as I go. So we'll start right here in a tuck position. Okay, elbows locked out no matter what, that's very important. And we'll just work tucking up, just like this. As you get more comfortable, you can press through a little bit more. Okay, not worried about holding it, just focusing on that point of contact. Next up we have hip raises. Now you're going to feel these in a few different places depending where your weakness is. Obviously your shoulders is going to be used a lot here, but so is your core and maybe even your hip flexors. Okay, all we're gonna do is we're gonna start in an L hold. Okay, we're gonna use these parallettes. So if you haven't gone to Home Depot to get some supplies, go get them, find a tutorial on YouTube, get these things made. So important for you to have at home. So anyways, we're gonna start from an L hold. All you're gonna do, you don't have to hold the L for very long, but you're gonna compress, lift your hips past your elbows as high as you're able, and you're gonna hold that position for three seconds. When you're starting out, it may be a little bit lower, your goal is to get all the way up to what we call a half press, which is essentially hips up above your shoulders. All right, next we're gonna focus exclusively on the shoulders. Uh, these are called planchlings. For this, you're gonna need something to hold your feet up and roll on. I got a basketball here, soccer ball, anything this size, especially if you have like an exercise ball, a Swiss ball, that's probably the best, okay? All you're gonna need to do, put your feet on the ball. The further down the ball your feet are, okay, the, the harder it's gonna be. If you wanna start and make it easier, you can put the ball higher up towards your knees. Okay, legs on the ball, hand shoulder width apart, nice flat body, squeeze your bottom, tight core. You're just gonna lean forward into your planche and push back. Lean forward as far as you can hold it, push back. Keep that chin up, push back. Now, these can get pretty tough. If you're not super strong in these yet in your planche position, make sure you have something soft in front of you. If you lean too far, you might fall right there on your face. So make sure you're prepared for that. Only go as far as your shoulders can take it, okay? About five in a set, three sets of five. Drill number four is just our good old fashioned press against the wall. Wall here, something nice and safe to prevent us from falling over. Pretty basic, there's a couple ways to modify it though. For starters, if you're still having trouble with your presses, you can start from an elevated surface, panel mat, stack of books, whatever will pull you a little bit off the ground for your feet. Anyways though, you'll start with your hands about six to eight inches away from the wall. 
Head goes in, shoulders up against the wall, up on your tippy toes, and work your press action up. Make sure your elbows stay straight. Also like lowering down slow through the press position to kind of help force you to use your core and your hip flexors and everything on the way down. You can also just practice holding it in one spot all the way up, just off the ground. Lots of different ways to modify this one, but like I said, you get that wall as a safety net to help you out. Also, a couple drills to help you with your flexibility or your compression. This first one is called arch lowers. Start in a straddle. Doesn't need to be too wide, about 90 degrees. Arms up nice and tall. Focus on arching your lower back into your normal curve of your body line there. Okay, look up at your thumbs. And you're just going to lower down as far as you can without rounding your back. Okay, so even if you can only go a little bit, like me, try and maintain that shape in your lower back. This is just going to help increase your flexibility so that when you get upside down, you're able to pull your legs as close into your body as possible on the way up through the press. We also have these ones right here. These are called straddle taps. What you'll do here, again, about 90 degrees, hands flat on the ground in between your knees, okay, chest up tall. Just lift the feet up off the ground. You're going to really feel this in your hip flexors. These ones are really tough, just like that. Okay, this is building that strength in our hip flexor as well as our flexibility. It accomplishes the same thing, getting upside down, compressed into that upside down pancake position. All right, guys, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video on your quest to get a great press. Make sure you check out Coach Caleb's video as well. A lot more great drills for you to do in there. As always, make sure you stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, stay motivated. We'll see you next time, guys.